I know I got my little presentation that I do. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. So um, this is uh, Lena Richard, uh, New Orleans cookbook. Okay, so that, that, that checks out. And so I'm just going to read a little bit about her. And uh, hopefully, you know, you're informed. It says, celebrating Black History Month, the life of Chef Lena Richard, a culinary giant who broke barriers. Mm -hmm. And this is coming from uh, WDSU News uh, website. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, New Orleans, <clears throat> excuse me is also known for its delicious food. But do you know the chefs behind those delicious recipes? One culinary giant who paved the way but is often left in the shadows is Leonard Richard. The first known African-American to host a culinary cooking TV show in the US and it aired on WDSU. Richard was born in 1892 in New Roads, Louisiana. She moved to New Orleans at an early age and grew up in a home on North Durbanby Street. Richard uh, started her culinary career when she was 14. She helped her mom and aunt as a domestic worker for a prominent New Orleans family. She was born only 30 years after slavery ended. So she was born in the 1890s. Yeah, I said that already. She was part of this dominant workforce that were domestic servants. Those were the only jobs many African-American women could get after the Civil War ended and slavery ended, said Zilla Palmer, a food historian and chair of Dillard University Ray Charles program in African-American material culture. Ooh, okay, then. Um, Richard quickly learned the ins and outs of cooking and grew into a culinary giant. In 1937, she opened a cooking school to teach Black people the necessary skills to get a better paying job in the Jim Crow South. If you look at her catering school, she not only trained Black women in catering, but she also trained brides and bridesmaids to learn how to cook, how to be successful in the home with home economics, and so much more, Palmer said. Um, in 1938, she opened a frozen food company and shipped meals to people's home all over the world. In 1939, Richard published her own cookbook, with more than 300 recipes inside, titled Lena Richards Cookbook. The photo we see here. Uh, this was the first Creole cookbook written by an African American. Uh, when she published her first cookbook in 1939, you think of the time frame that was happening, of course, the Jim Crow South. We were still in segregation. African Americans barely had rights at this point. Her, her doing that, publishing the cookbook, and the fact that she was a phenomenal chef was a big deal. So not only did you get kind of impressed, your family did you get to kind of impress your family and friends or whomever you were cooking for, but you got to do it in a grand scale, said Chef De Levine, owner of Delightful Rose School of Cooking. And uh, let's see here. I've been skipping through it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to get the meat part so we know who she is. And baby, they were doing it all the way back then. You know what I'm saying? And I actually just wrote a poem. Let me finish. Um, I'm going to end it here. It says, I am beyond impressed with what she's done in her career and the fact that she laid the path for me over 80 years ago. And um, I think that was Levon. Yeah. Uh, to be standing right here in my own cooking school it's all thanks to her, Levine said. Levine says Richard wants to make sure other girls and women know what Richard, what? Okay. 
this is what they wrote now. Richard did, and she plans to educate people through her cooking school. I can only imagine her struggle. The slam doors she got in her face, life and her career, it was a time for women, first of all, were on the black who were on the back burner. They were not important in any landscape of work outside of housework. She hopes people remember Richard for her resilience and the many ways she paved the way for people all over the world. All right, Lord Jesus, y'all excuse me for fumbling that one right there, but that was the story of Lena Richard. Let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about it. Yeah, I did an article. See, I didn't even see it. Let me see. He said I did an article of her on my Facebook page a few months ago. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's what he said. But um, that was an amazing story. I, a sister like me love to cook. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to give her all the the thanks for the blueprint, baby. I wonder, I wonder what her recipe on shrimp at too fake you know, looking like, you know what I'm saying, baby, now that's, that's a dish, like, I think I recently made gumbo, maybe in 2020, if not the beginning of 2021, you didn't, you didn't call me, oh, I'm sorry, no, but co yeah, come on in, I'm sorry, come on <laughs> no, in, no, I said you didn't call me, to, I said you ain't call me to get some of that gumbo, Oh, listen, I do apologize because not, I'm going to start doing that. My homegirl came and got some cassava leaf from me. And so I'm I'm really going to say, hey, I got some gumbo over here. But it, it came out so good. It, it, it tasted like the real people gumbo. And I, I got family in New Orleans. And so I know how it's supposed to taste. I'm telling you, that thing tastes so good. But I made shrimp etouffee. And I remember... <sighs> When I really want to try something, I'm telling you, I go to all the stores. I go through all of the measures. And so I went to a few stores to get everything I needed uh, to just simply make the broth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, um, but that was because I didn't realize that I really could have, you know, made a few shortcuts, which I ultimately ended up doing anyway. But I love me some good old Creole New Orleans cooking. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. So, you know, that's uh, where my daddy from, girl. You already know. Well, you're going to be cooking, too, now. Ah, uh, you know. JC, man. Man, JC the homie, man. Let me tell you now. JC's I'm just hanging man. out. I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> Listen. Anyway, um, but yeah, so we want to give thanks. Who, who are you talking about? And they had Julia Childs um, in all our faces, never told us about her. That's what I'm talking about, because I never heard there of this lady we. until today. There we go. Until there today. We. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> listen, you all, if you want to um, join in, if you're watching, I see we got some folk watching. Make sure you um, and you want to join in on the conversation. I've dropped the link in um, the chat if you want to join in. Right now, we got my homie JC online. Also, feel free to interact in the comment section. I like that as well. Um, we're about to go on to this next story, though.